Yo, yo, I got to start this one off by giving a salute to UCLA for starting this season off proper like putting their fist right through the mouth of LSU and in this game, 38-27, man, and also seeing the production from the black quarterback at UCLA. You know he's been there for a couple of years, but it's good to see him get out here and put on proper performance. And then also seeing... Deshaun Foster getting those running backs, man. Y'all don't know Deshaun Foster, man. Y'all sleeping. That's probably one of the baddest high school running backs outside of my cousin. Got to be biased, man. Uh, but Deshaun Foster, man, was one of the baddest high school quarterbacks probably ever. In my biased opinion, I got to make that bias. And uh, badass NFL running back before injuries took place. But to see him back at the school where it all started. And matter of fact, he should have been a Heisman Trophy winner outside of, we know how the whitewashing of college football goes uh, to get Carson Palmer in the spot uh, to win the Heisman by suspending Deshaun towards the end of the damn, uh, that season where he's up for the Heisman. Uh, but to see this team, UCLA, go out here, get off on the right track, beat the shit out of a team, LSU, who was a ranked 10, a uh, ranked top 20 team, uh, just to go out here and punch them right in the goddamn mouth. Bring it to a, a SEC team like that. And they got good production up front from that defensive line. Uh, it was a battle going into that first half, and they just come out there in that second half, start running the ticket up on these motherfuckers. But uh, that's all I got, folks, man. I'm going to continue to watch, see what you, uh, UCLA does, man. And anytime these Cal schools, because I don't really like none of the California colleges, man, because to me – they, you know, people who know me know I don't play that whitewashing shit. I believe in allowing the game to function at a high level by putting the best candidates in the positions that best suit the teams, not just putting every top tier player in the country in those other positions, but trying to preserve the suburbanism of the quarterback position. But uh, that's all I got, man. Hopefully these brothers at UCLA continue this progress going. But I'll catch you on the next piece.